in order to have an effective discussion about the medical field. It must be important to actually discuss evidence-based medical researches and trials, isn't it, doctor? Of course, yes, I agree with you. Yeah, so doctor, I've read about a medical trial called Orbita. Orbita, it was published in the Lancet Journal and I've heard that the Lancet Journal is the world's oldest and well-known medical journal ever. In, and also, I've heard that the results of the Orbita trial is very important to ordinary heart patients. Can I know why is it so important? Okay. The trial Orbita it's published on uh, 2nd November and I think every cardiologist in this uh, globe should know about Arbita and I, I believe they all know that. And now the important thing that we have to do is, as a physician and a cardiologist, we should be able to communicate this Arbita trial result to the general public and cardiac patient. So they would know what actually the trial stood for and what actually the result which came out. And even before explaining the Arbita trial, I, I would be open with you to say that's a big shock for all the cardiology community in the world because they expect something and something which come out which is what contrary to what they've always believed for the past 30, 40 years. Because this kind of trial has not been initiated in cardiology, I think from 1970s, the first time the angioplasty is done, we all assumed that when you do an angioplasty, we open up the vessel which I explained to you before. So angioplasty is a simple procedure where they put the catheter into your uh, femoral artery and move the catheter into the artery where there is a blockage. So they open the artery by using a balloon. So the, the obstruction is compressed against the wall. So the vessels are open and the blood flow is restored. And to prevent this part to reclosure, they put a stent. Now, logically speaking, I think everyone will also accept the simple fact if I can open the vessel and restore the blood supply, then basically the patient would get better relief of symptoms. I mean, the guy, the patient who cannot even walk for two, three minutes, they believe after opening the vessel, they can do more exercise, they have less frequency of angina and good quality of life. And you have to be very, very clear in this because it's not only angioplasty, these patients are already on medical management. So they are taking a lot of pills, and over the pills, we are doing an angioplasty. And when you do an angioplasty, which is very expensive to do, and it is a lot of complication, and the, the simple thing we expect is at least it should be able to provide a quality of life uh, and improve your and decrease your symptoms and reduce your nitrate intakes, which are the medicine you take for your chest pain. Now, I will explain the trial. So under this assumption, by adding an angioplasty over medical management, this group of patients would get a better outcome in the sense they can do more exercise. So in Arbita trial, uh, the investigators, they took two group of patients, each arm has a 100-100, and they call it as a randomized placebo controlled double-blinded trial. So what they really did is they randomized this group. All these patients have been asked to go for an angioplasty, but one group, they managed to do only medical management, another group, they managed only with the medical management and angioplasty. But the important point is, the patient who kept on medical management alone, didn't know they are kept at medical management. Actually, they are taken for a cath lab, they put a catheter, but they didn't put a stent. So basically, all these two group patients assumed that they actually underwent an angioplasty. So this is called placebo. So the patient wouldn't know, and the cardiologist who is treating them with the medical management doesn't know, and uh, nobody knows who have not gone for a stent and who have gone for a stent. So it's blinded. So nobody know like uh, who is uh, stented, who is not stented. Now, the investigator follow these patients for six weeks because we know when you do a procedure, there should be a significant improvement in uh, quality of life and symptom immediately after the procedure. After six weeks, they analyze a couple of important things. Number one is quality of life. Number second is exercise tolerance and then the angina, the chest pain frequency. And uh, to the surprise, I mean, it's, it's actually devastating to all the cardiologists because we found out in spite of this, people who have undergone stenting, they did the same exercise, they have the same quality of life, they have the same angina symptom when compared to this group who have not done angioplasty. So both this group behave in the same manner. So that shows even 
after opening the vessel with angioplasty we are not able to change the symptom either your angioplasty is ineffective or the patient on medical management has derived the maximum benefit so going a patient pushing the patient for an angioplasty would not uh, have any quality of life or uh, exercise tolerance or symptom relief in this group of patient and this is an actual result so when you communicate to this patient it's very difficult for us to say we say we want to do you uh, angioplasty because i put you on all the medicine and this medicine is not able to control your symptoms now i cannot rely upon the medical management i have to move beyond to do an angioplasty and save your heart and have to improve your quality of life now this comments i think it's very difficult to say in evidence based medicine now so i have to be very careful in saying i might prescribe you angioplasty but really don't know like whether it could improve your symptoms or not and that's a absolute fact after that orbiter trial which has to go to the public wow doctor that's a shocking conclusion yes even i didn't expect such yeah such an amazing result and it's quite surprising very surprising actually very surprising yeah it's 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 almost like devastating and it's like it it done through all the logics actually the cardiology field must have been completely it's it's um, been uh, so i mean when you have a trial which is negative either you have to accept the fact as it is or you should do a such a another trial to show that it is false yep. but with such a strong study as i said it's a randomized placebo double blind trial it's very hard for some study to come up to turn the table around to prove it wrong yes wow